Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer, and it's a course play tutorial for Farming Simulator 22. In this episode, we're going to be setting up a course for ploughing with this Kverlin plough here. We are using course play version 7.0.0.21, which is still an early version of the game, so I might come back to this later on if we get any major updates. So there will be a link in the comments to a tutorial playlist which will have all of the FS22 course play tutorials that I'm going to be doing so just check that out if it's you know if it's a few months after this video is made just to make sure I haven't done an update to this because I'm pretty sure that course play will be evolving quite drastically over the coming weeks and months it's definitely been updated quite frequently already so enough about that we're going to go into we're going to get bring up the hood and you'll notice straight away if you've already just subscribed to the original course play there was no hood here but with this update that i've just said you've got this new mini hood so if you right click like you did with the original fs19 fs17 course play you right click with your mouse and you can actually drag and move this around so you can move this out the way i'm not sure if there's any way to get rid of this hood at the minute but yeah, I just thought I would mention that. So if you right click again, we can just move our camera around. We still have, if you hit the delete key, we still have this mini hood here. So this allows us to start at last waypoint, first waypoint, nearest waypoint, collect wrap bales, see our working width and see our tool offset as well. Our horizontal offset and our vertical offset. Um, I'll talk a bit more about those in a minute when we've set actually set up the course. But to set up the course, it's a lot different than the original one in with this new course play for FS22, you have to press escape or whatever it is you press to go into the main menu. And then we just go into the job creation tool that we already have. We've got some new options down here as well, which we can set up. But I just want to go into setting up the course real quick. So what we need to do is we need to go to create job. And what we need to do is we need to go over here to the right hand side and just click until we see CP field work and then you'll see open close course generator. But before we do that, we need to set the field that we're working in and to do that, we do the target position. So if we left click on target position, left click on the field that we want to work in. Now you can set a direction, I think with this, but it doesn't really matter too much because we can be, we'll edit the direction of travel anyway with the course generator. But I think this might do your very first you know the first starting point of the course so i think i want to start maybe over here so if i left click left click again that just sets us our field which in this instance i think is field six open close course generator left click on that and you'll see here we've got our working widths now if your unit of measurement your speed is set to miles per hour the working width will be in feet and i've so i've set mine to kilometers per hour just so the working width is set to to, uh, to meters because yeah if, it's a little bit confusing because i think the tools are still measured in meters for the most part i mean mine definitely were but it might be slightly different on yours so if you want to see your working width in meters then you need to set your speed in the menu down here to kilometers per hour for your measurement of unit your yeah, me measuring unit that's the one so okie dokie back to up here we want to go back to create job uh, we've already set the field position course generation uh, field center up down headland corners for plowing i would suggest sharp because i know when you do smooth corners the tractor will drive around the corner but sometimes it will just especially with the rigid plows it will just leave like big gaps in where it's plowed so when it's if you set it to sharp the tractor will actually go right up to the edge and I think it'll do some manoeuvres like reversing and stuff like that just so you get that crisp sharp edge and you should get a nice tidy finish uh, ploughed field at the finish or well, at the end rather. Number of headlands for this little plough I would suggest 2.5 metres just to give us that headland for the tractor to turn around in. I think any less than that you might be a little bit problematic. I think it still might be able to do it but I would probably go with something like five meters with a little plow like this headland direction clockwise. So we're going round. You can set that as well to counterclockwise, but we'll go clockwise headland overlap. I normally go for about 5% skip row for a small rigid plow. Like the one I've got, I would just suggest no skip rows, but if you've got one of those much, much bigger plows, then I would probably go for at least one skip row just because they are a lot more difficult to actually turn around at the headlands. So 
any rigid plow, small plow, I wouldn't go for any uh, headland pass. I think it's a little bit more realistic, any skip rows rather. I think it's a little bit more realistic because what you normally do is you normally just go up and down with your wheel in the last furrow, don't you? So that's a little bit more realistic, but for a bigger plow, maybe just add a skip row. Rows per headland, I'm not entirely sure what this does at the minute, but I might learn later on. Um, but I've left it at six for everything I've done and it's generated all the courses that I've needed to so I'm going to leave that at six for now up down direction you probably want to go with your longest edge because obviously that just minimizes the amount of turns that you do in each field because obviously it's just a lot more efficient going up the longest edge and back down the longest edge obviously reduces the total amount of turns and makes for a more efficient course up down row angle angle of up down rows I'm not sure I'm just going to leave that start with field start work on and we can either do headlands, so when you're harvesting, you'll just obviously start on your headland, so you go around the headland first. But when you're doing pretty much anything else, you start in the middle of the field on your up-down rows. Yeah, that used to be on the original course play, that used to be up-down rows. Uh, island bypass mode, that goes around trees and power pylons. There's none in the field that I'm working on, but you can either do a simple or a circle or no bypass at all. I'm just gonna leave that field margin. Positive value reduces field size to add a buffer around the working area. So I don't really need to do that because there is a little bit of a buffer anyway, especially on this, you know, on Carmston Farm on a modded map, you tend to get a little bit of a buffer built into it anyway. So we've got that and then we're gonna go down here. We can, uh, and then gonna click generate field course, which hopefully should all be up and running. Yeah, it looks like it is. And then we've got CP field work. Yeah, we can, I think we can start. Yeah, we can start the job from this screen or we can go into the main screen and then hit delete, bring up the mini hood. And then we can go to first waypoint, starting working width, uh, 2.5 meter, yeah, working width of implement 2.5 meters. Now, the only other thing is the tool offset. I have, I'm, I think it's pretty much set it automatically anyway, but it does look to be just ever so slightly out but I think I have tried to change this so I've tried to change it so when that box is looks correct to me so if I zoom out a little bit and then we can left click well yeah left click on these and it does move this box around and that looks a bit more accurate to me but if I go hit either hit enter or you can press the button itself which says higher, higher worker it changes it back to 0 0.1 meters which yeah, it, it w does seem to work on the test that I've already done, but it doesn't look right in that boxed area. It doesn't look like it's properly aligned, but I'm not sure why. I think I might ask in the actual um, course play GitHub discussions why that resets, but it does seem to me that it does actually plow correctly. Anyway, it doesn't leave any gaps in between the plows. It'll turn the plow. And actually, having said that, he's just moved it himself, the tool offset. So it will do it automatically, which, yeah. Is some, I think it's something new anyway, because I'm pretty sure you used to have to do it manually with the older ones. But uh, we will, I think what I'll do is I'm going to leave this going for a little bit and we can just watch him and see what happens with regards to the plowing. So I think I will let him do the plow, make sure it's all worked fine. And then, yeah, we can uh, basically wrap up this episode and uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave him plowing and then we'll come back to it.
Okie dokie, so he's ploughed quite a lot of this field now, well quite a lot, about a third, maybe a quarter, he's still got quite a way to go, you can, actually you can see there, it's a good indication, we can see the number of points left on the course, so we've got 948 out of 4000, so we've just, just under a quarter of this field left to, uh, well, just under a quarter of this field ploughed, so... What I wanted to do was just talk quickly about this new mini hood, which if you right click and move, you can start and stop your vehicle with this play button here. But just one thing to note before you do that is if you hit delete, bring the mini hood up. It's a little bit confusing to have these two hoods, but I think they must be working on this hood here. I'm guessing this is just like the initial early version of this hood. But if you bring up the mini hood, need to make sure that the start at is at the nearest point just if you want to pause and continue your course for whatever reason so make sure that's at start at and then we can well, i'll just let them turn around first actually because that's a little bit, e bit easier i always find if you want to start and stop courses that you need to make sure your tractor or your vehicle is on a good straight run just so it's easy enough to find the nearest course uh yeah so we'll let him do his turn and then go down a bit we can left so if you right click and bring up this well allows us to act into interact with this mini course mini course no mini hood left click on the uh, the play button and you can see there it stops tractor if you hit play again it will go but it is dependent on this being set to nearest waypoint if it's set at first waypoint it will go back and try and find the first waypoint as i found out earlier on Another thing is the tool offset. It actually makes sense now thinking about it logically that you can't set the tool offset for the plow because the plow turns, doesn't it? So it either goes to plus or minus three meters either way. So it's doing a pretty good job of doing its own thing, you know, calculating how long, how wide the offset needs to be. I've noticed this does go up and down sometimes for whatever reason. And I think if I'm honest, there's a little probably, I don't know, actually is... Yeah, there's probably a little bit more of an overlap there than there needs to be. I think it's, it might just be Bob on, but I don't know. But it seems to work for the most part anyway. So if I, as we come up to this turn now, you should see, obviously he's going to turn the plough, which is a good thing. That was a thing that was broken at the early version of Farming Simulator, wasn't it? You couldn't turn the ploughs, which is a little bit frustrating. But course play will turn the plough. It'll make a pretty good job of turning. I think five uh, headlands is probably about right. But now you can see there, you can see the offsets changing as the plough turns. And then once he makes a start, he will actually finally set the offset of the plough. Which will go up and down a little bit. So yeah, it's gone minus two there. Minus one. It just, it just, it'll it change itself anyway is what I'm getting at. But it will in general set the actual offset to the correct position. So you don't need to worry about that. You can see there with the automatic offset uh, thing going on. And with all the things that I've done, you can see that basically it's all working and this field has been ploughed pretty nicely. There's no gaps, no nothing missing. I think what I'll do is I'm going to let him finish this field. I'm going to let him plough this uh, field. And then just as on the outro of this video, I'm just going to let you see the turn on the headland. So obviously I've got to let him finish this field. And then what I'll do as this video plays out i will just play like one of the turns if it does turn at all actually because although we have set our headland corners to sharp it might still do a turn i think for the most part i think it might actually we'll see anyway we'll see what happens when he comes to do the headland but that to me looks like he's making a turn rather than a sharp um maneuver do a forward a forward and reverse maneuver to get a 90 degree angle on that but i don't think it's going to do it but we'll we'll take a look anyway but for the most part you know you can see it's working you can plow with the version that i'm using currently and it's all working well so i'm going to leave it there for today i'll leave you with one of the turns just out of interest more than anything just to see what he does with sharp activated but as you can see it does have rounded edges anyway so he probably won't make a turn but yeah plowing's working hopefully that made sense uh, any questions in the comments below and I'll try and answer them as best as I could. I'm going to leave it there for today. Leave you with making a turn on the headland. I'm going to leave it there and say until next time, bye bye.